Okay, one more video on methods that return values. Let's start with this one. Uh, we have a um, method called prize machine, and this is going to mimic one of those little machines uh, like you see in the front of the grocery store where it'll spit out little prizes for kids. Um, so, for example, um, so, and you know, think about that machine. What happens? You, you put a coin in, and then it spits out a prize, okay? So you're putting something in, so we're going to have a parameter to represent the coin. But then the machine is giving something back, and so we'll do that in the form of a string, which um, will be like the prize, okay? So um, again, this method not only has a parameter, but also returns a value. So once inside of the method, we have uh, created a string, which I'm calling prize. Okay, and we'll say here with uh, five cents, we'll buy a gumball, ten cents, we'll buy a little tattoo book, and then um, 25 cents is going to get a fake ring out of the machine. So if they put a nickel in the five cents, the prize is going to be a gumball, or else if they put in 10 cents, they get the tattoo book, or else it must have been 25 cents and the prize is the fake ring. So setting the prize value and then very importantly returning the prize. When you say that your method is going to return a value, if you have anything except void here, you've got to have a return statement. Look what happens if I comment out the return statement. The compiler starts complaining. He's saying, hey, wait a minute, you said you were going to return a string and now you're not returning a string. So um, again, everything's got to match perfectly when you're coding your methods. Okay, so down in uh, the main method here, I'll go ahead and run that. Okay, I got a fake ring back. So look at the method call here. Um, I have um, calling the prize machine. All right, let me end this here. Calling the prize machine method. And I'm passing it 25 cents, which got me the fake ring. Uh, remember from the last video, and it, the, whatever that, that fake ring I'm getting back, I'm putting it right into the console.write operation. One thing I would not want to do is this. Remember this from the last video? This is what not to do when you're calling a method that returns a value. What would happen here? If I ran this program, the method is going to run. The fake ring is going to come back. It's going to be returned from the method, but where is it? I don't see it. I'm not capturing it. I'm not doing anything with it. So that fake ring going right into the abyss, never to be seen, ever. Okay, so you have to be careful. When you're returning a value, you have to call that method in such a way that you get that return value back and you're doing something with it. You're putting it into a variable or you're putting it to the console or something. Okay, you're definitely not going to do this here. Okay, all right, so how about one more method that returns a, a value? This one is, uh, a, we'll call this Santa Surprise. Now, we have not looked at a method like this. Um, this is going to return a string, which is going to represent the surprise, but it does not have any parameters, okay? Listen, um, parameters and the return type really have no bearing on each other. Sometimes you're going to have a method that has parameters and no return type. Sometimes, like in this case, you'll have a method that has a return type and no parameters. Sometimes, like in this case, you're going to have a method that has both. It just depends. It depends on the functionality. So if you think of Santa Claus, um, he doesn't need anything to do his job. He's Santa Claus. So he's just going to fly around and land on people's chimneys and drop random surprises down the chimneys. And, um, he, you know, he doesn't need anything from us. So, uh, we don't really have to give anything to the method, but the method is going to spit out some kind of surprise. So what I've done here is I've kind of added an element of, um, chance here. And so we're going to do a random prize or a random surprise. And this is pretty easy to do with, um, we have a, a random number generator that you can create just with this uh, random data type. Now, um, the computer is really, really good at generating random numbers, but it needs a, what we call a seed value from you, which is just kind of like a starting number to start that, that random number sequence. And um, it's very common to 
seed a random number sequence against the system clock because that number is always always changing every like every nanosecond you're getting a new um, new value on the system clock you could pass it a hard-coded seed like zero or one or something but you would not get real random numbers you would get what we call pseudo random numbers or which are not really random so that's not important you don't you don't really have to know this but in any case um, I'm gonna get a random number um, if I pass it a 4, I'll get random numbers 0 through 3. So we'll say if I get a 0 back, that's an iPod. I don't even know if they still make those. Um, we have a, a 1 back, we'll give you an iPad. And um, 2, you get a Barbie doll. 3, you get your dream car. Okay, so whatever the random number is, we'll figure that out with a switch statement. I could do this with an if, else, if, else, if, else, if. And um, just setting the string, that is the surprise, to whatever it's going to be, okay? And then finally, most importantly, returning that surprise. Returning that surprise. So then we'll call this method, and just uncomment this, okay? And again, that method returns something, so I've got to call it in a specific way. I'm not, if I do this, What's going to happen? What if I get my dream car back? You know where it's going to go if I call it this way? Into the abyss, never to be seen. Okay, so when, you have, when you're getting a value back, you have to call it so that you're doing something with that value. In this case, I'm just dropping it right into the uh, console.write operation. So whatever I get back, so that random uh, surprise, that's what we're going to see. I'll go ahead and run it. Oh, I got the iPod, so there you have it.